my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi guys, welcome Hello. back to our channel. Today is a very exciting day because I'm going to get lip filler on these thin, thin, thinning out biddies. Young man over here in our mess is uh, obsessed with making coffee. Yes, sir. Make the coffee. Okay, fantastic. Yep. Barista galore. So, I am going to get filler in my lips. I'm going to the man's clinic. Nothing in my lips. As you can see, nothing. And I wanna see what's gonna happen. It's a very exciting. I am excited to look fuller and more plumper. And Leo, I'm gonna have lips like you. You're my inspo photo. The reason I'm doing this video is just because it's just a nerve wracking thing about these lips, aren't they? So I just wanted to make a video so that you guys who are thinking about it could go and you know refer to this video and have that experience. I keep looking at the viewfinder because I haven't used this camera. So here, here I am. Here I am, we're talking. So these are the lips. This is them. I don't know what it's gonna be, so all of that I'm gonna have to tell you after the appointment because I'm completely clueless, but I just want some things, you know? I just want a little bit of juice in the face. This is Leo, every morning on his helper's tower, making coffee. There he is. Hi guys, I forgot my camera, so I'm filming on my phone. I've just dropped Leo off to school and I'm just like nervous. I've had this done twice before. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit more in detail now that Leo's not making coffee, you know, barista. Um, and it's just always gone into these bits here. You know when people smile and they've got these under bits, it's always gone in there. And when I smiled, it kind of like lumped at the bottom and I've just not been happy with it. And I looked at the man's clinic and I looked at this like Russian lip they do and I'm Russian and I thought, you know, that would work, you know, that would suit. Um, I don't know, I just, I'm losing volume and I want the volume back. Give me back what I had, give it back to me. But I'm nervous, people, people, their mums are walking past in Leo's school and they're looking at me. They're looking at me. Um, yeah, I'm nervous. I just, you know, any injectables in your face is just, scary i'm scared you know but it should be good i feel like i'm just in this part of life now where i've got this different attitude where it's just like it will be fine what will be will be the future is not ours to say hey sarah sarah so i'm excited i will report to you how it was after i come out and what we did and then a few days later and then a week later and that will be it so now i'm just going to take my before photo but here they are Guys, I'm in the car after having it done. Look, why must you be here on my reveal of my lips spot? I am just a shooketh. Oh my God. Is it she? Is it her? I'm gonna go home and reassess this. I'm gonna tell you more about the whole situation. It was an hour appointment and I've got numbing cream on, so. <gasps> Angelina Jolie who? Here she is. Pause that podcast. Okay guys, so I just got back. I hope I'm in shot. I've moved the screen so I don't look at it, but this is the lips. This is the after lips. This is the aftermath straight away. I'm really happy. The process was painful. It's not easy. They give you laughing gas and they give you numbing cream. That's why I'm talking a bit weird because of the numbing. It's bruised. This is not what it's gonna look like at the end, although I wouldn't mind because it kind of looks amazing. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture of my pre-baby lips here. Um, this is what my lips look like before three episodes of HG, which is extreme dehydration. I guess I had those experiences for almost a year and a half. So I lost a lot of collagen and a lot of plumpness and due to aging as well. So I almost feel like I just have my natural zhuzh back. Um, I can't wait to see how it settles. I went to the man's clinic and it was just great. 
it's a very cute place it's very aesthetic it's very beautiful but we don't care about that we care about how it looks um so if you're in sydney you know i would recommend although you know talk to your own doctor and you decide what you want to do because i'm not going to be responsible for that and um she just talked me through it. It was very chill. She understood that I had to have it dissolved twice before. Um, and she went in to the vermilion border with very thin lines and it was just a good experience. I'm hoping it's not gonna migrate or drift down and I just don't feel like it will. And I'm, I love it so far, so good. I think I've developed like a certain amount of chill. I used to worry about these kind of things and freak out, but like, I just, I just love it. It's good. And you know what? If it doesn't look good, I'll dissolve it. Not the end of the world. So this is it so far. Simon's going to get home and freak out. But it is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think so far. And I'll catch up with you probably tomorrow to do day two updates and how I'm feeling. But definitely you can feel like you've been a bit punched in the face or like pinched on the lips like pegs have been pinched onto your lips um the laughing gas has made me feel a bit bleh, so i might go lie down before i pick leo up anyway this is she this is her leo's got his egg he is obsessed with eggies look at you is it an eggie so this is my lips in the morning of day two. I'm feeling very much like there's like they're protruding here in the middle. So it's giving a little like little ducky effect. But I know it's going to be the sweater. Yeah. Little ducky effect. Okay. Okay. Mummy bites. Mummy bites again. Oh. Caught the egg. Mmm. Mmm. There? Layer bites? No? Okay. So that's day two. A little quacky ducky, but I'm happy so far. Oh. Why must we bite? Why must we bite the camera? My mom, must we pull the camera? Here we are. Leopard in the back. Day three. What do you think? What's your opinion? No comment. You don't like it? No, it's nice. It's lovely. But it looks beautiful. But a bit strange, is it? A bit getting used to. A bit of getting used to. I actually, when I look at myself now, don't see a difference. So this is day three and I feel like the swelling's really gone down. And they say that like on week two, everyone misses the swelling because it just looks like your normal lips again. So Simon says I look like a duck. nice today we've got Leo's school party so I think everyone will think oh what a nice duck mum he's got anyway this is day three just so you can see here she is in all her glory with her new lippy lips so guys here I am I'm just checking that you can see them in the viewfinder yes you can um day it's monday i got them on a thursday and honestly this is me no makeup on who cares um i could not be happier the swelling is going down the bruising is going down and i just feel like revitalized i know this is really odd but i was on the phone to my mum, and she's like have you your nose looks a bit sharper than it used to and i'm like that's because the lips are bigger um, it's just, I don't know, it's just really added to the face, I feel like. Let's put the hair down. Let's put the wild hair down. This is my natural hair texture. This is my hair. Oh, it smells nice. It's that nice shampoo smell. Um, when I don't, um, blow dry it, when I don't straighten it, this is just the hair. 
So I don't know, it's really added to it. So let's go through the journey. The price was $700 at the Mans Clinic in Australia. Um, if you like the look, go there. I'm sure they will welcome you. Uh, I think the price is good. If anybody's offering you like a very low price, I'd always say run because you don't want, you know, something that's sold cheaper um, just to make a profit. Uh, you want somebody professional. You want somebody trained in it. You preferably want a doctor or a nurse. That's what I always look for. That's what I, uh, you know, rely on. Um, they injected several injections from the top going in and I cannot feel any bubbles or any lumps which I'm so happy about there is no pain the movement is not decreased I'm just really loving it I feel like after I had the baby it really like took all the juice out of my lips but added juice to the body how does that happen like can we just do it the other way around um yeah so I'm happy with it let me know what you think if you've got any questions about it I'll gladly answer them in the description box below or in another video but you know that I'm here to try the stuff. I'm here to do the stuff. You know, if you don't like it, you can always dissolve it. It's not um, permanent. But definitely go to somebody who you trust and you like, credentially wise, because, you know, it's your face. It's your face. I, I am really finding that I want to spend things on skincare or how I look as opposed to things I own or buy. Because, like, you don't want to be wearing a nice outfit with a nice handbag with a crusty face. Like, what's the point? So that's me at the moment. On that you know health journey trying to look better do better you know whatever so i'll see you on the next one and i think i'm gonna have i hope i'm gonna have very exciting videos coming up but i don't want to talk about it too much until it definitely happens so i look forward to it and i know you will too i love you lots of jelly dots see you in the next one